Hey, it's your girl Carmel Natural 82 and I'm coming with you with another hopefully short quick video um, for deep conditioning your hair with a baggy method um, while using a wig as a semi you know cover-up style um, while you're deep conditioning so this is part two of my deep conditioning routine that I usually do and I do this for about eight hours usually um, it's because I have to work or something like that I want to go on and do things throughout my day without people knowing that I am deep conditioning my hair so what you'll need is a shower cap a stocking cap or stockings if you you know can't ha if you can't afford a, sh a stocking cap or you know whatever it's too hard to get so you can just take a um, nylon stockings and cut the or not even cut the feet just tie it into a little knot and then just pull it over your head and then you'll just need your favorite um, wig so what I did was I deep conditioned with the as I am coconut co-wash um, the African herbal oil for my hot oil treatment and just a little bit of honey on my ends to um, make the hair a little bit shinier so what I'm going to do is I want to make sure that the hair all over along my hairline is all tucked in nicely underneath my shower cap. So just make sure that is all tucked in before I put my um, wig cap on. Okay, so it all feels tucked in to me. So now gonna put the weight cap on and you just put it on and I like to pull it all the way over my shower cap in my ears just to make sure that I did properly cover the shower cap completely so that's all covered okay so now you just scrunch it up in the front and then you want to make sure that you just making sure that you keep the shower cap still underneath the shopping cap you're just gonna tuck it um, over your ears while stuffing the shower cap still underneath the stocking cap. So, and I just pull out my ear on that side, make sure that my shower cap is still properly tucked. I shouldn't feel any part of the shower cap on the outside of my stocking cap. So. And then you just scrunch it up just a little bit more so it's closer to your hairline. Okay. Now that I don't feel any more of the shower cap, you can get your wig. And I'm just going to brush mine just a little bit. And forgive me in disregard if I put the wig on a little lopsided because I do not have a mirror in front of me kind of just winging it right now so you just want to make sure that when you put your wig on that you actually hold your stocking cap down as well so it doesn't lift up so I'm just pulling the back part of the wig first and then you just adjust the front okay and then you just brush your hair And then I usually don't really like too much hair in my face. So what I'll end up doing um, later, once I actually look into the mirror, to see how this is all falling. I'm going to probably um, take a bobby pin and just secure it a little bit higher um, above my eyes so it's not really too much into my face. So, alrighty, so that's it. This is the finished look. Alright, thanks for watching. Deuces.